fellow adventurers. Today we embark on a journey through the mesmerizing landscapes and cultural tapestries of Uzbekistan. I'm your guide, the Traveling Zam, and as we traverse this land, we'll uncover the timeless allure of a nation intricately woven into the fabric of history and commerce. Uzbekistan, a jewel at the crossroads of civilizations, has long been an essential chapter in the story of the Silk Road. For centuries, this land served as a vital bridge connecting the East and the West, where traders, scholars, and explorers exchanged not just goods, but ideas, knowledge, and the very essence of diverse cultures. Picture the ancient caravans, laden with silk, spices, and dreams, crossing the vast desert expanses of Uzbekistan. The very soil beneath our feet has absorbed the echoes of countless footsteps and the whispers of countless languages, creating a mosaic of cultural diversity that defines Uzbekistan today. In the hustle and bustle of modern cities, you'll find the echoes of Silk Road caravans in the bustling market and the blend of traditional and contemporary architecture. So as we explore the top three destinations today, Samarkand, Hiva, and Bukhara, remember, we're not just witnessing history, we're stepping into the footprints of those who shaped it. Our journey begins in Samarkand, where the Silk Road's heart beats with the rhythm of centuries-old tales, a city that echoes with the footsteps of empires and poets. Behold the awe-inspiring Registan Square, the heart of Samarkand. Three grand madrasas adorned with intricate tilework stand testament to the city's medieval glory. Each step here is a journey through centuries of art and architecture. Many of the madrasas have since been turned into little shops and tourist cafes. A great place to sit and wonder at the awe-inspiring buildings. Just down the road from the Registan is the Guri Amir Mausoleum, the final resting place of the great Timur, a legendary conqueror of the region. Its blue dome adorned with celestial patterns whispers stories of an empire's golden age. Near the Registan, there is also the Bibi Kanyam Mosque. Here you can wander the ruins of one of the largest and most magnificent mosques of the Islamic world in the 15th century. One other place not to be missed is the Shah Yuzinda Cemetery. On the edge there are a row of ornately designed mausoleums and a beautiful walk through the bright blue tiled facades marches you through history past the remains of Uzbekistan's heroes, where history breathes and stones speak. Let's now venture west to the enchanting city of Hiva. A living testament to the Silk Road's golden era welcomes us with open arms. As you step into Hiva's historic city center, you'll be transported to a bygone era. Camels replace cars along the dusty streets that weave through vibrant markets. Immerse yourself in the labyrinth of alleys adorned with exquisite tiles and timeless architecture. Gaze upon the mighty Kalta Menor Minaret, a symbol of unfinished dreams, and feel the echoes of a city that once thrived as a vital trade hub. It was meant to be the tallest minaret in the Arab world, but lack of funding stunted its growth. But it makes up for it with the iconic bright blue tiles that lead your eyes to the sky. Across from the Kalta Menor is one of the historic palaces that can be found within the old city walls, Kuna Ark. There are plentiful rooms on the ground level that are adorned with vibrant blue tiles and colorfully painted ceilings. Head up to the second floor to reach the old city walls and get sweeping views of the ancient city below. One of the oldest remaining buildings in the Old Town is the 10th century Friday Mosque, a much more humble mosque than some of the others in Uzbekistan. But walking through the halls, you are weaving through the intricately carved original wooden pillars that have supported the building for over a thousand years. As you head out of the mosque, your neck will crane upwards to glimpse the Koja Minaret. Almost 150 feet tall, the tallest mosque in Hiva towers over the Old Town with beautiful rows of tiling leading your gaze upward. Hiva is a living museum where the past whispers secrets at every turn. But our journey doesn't end here. Let's head back east to the city of Bukhara, a city where the tales of scholars, merchants, and saints intertwine in a dance of history. Our first stop, the Poe Kalyan Complex, a sacred space that houses the Kalan Mosque in the iconic Kalan Minaret, reaching for the heavens. It's a symbol of spiritual richness and architectural brilliance. A tower so beautiful that legend says even Genghis Khan did not want to destroy its towering prominence. Just down the street, visit the Ark of Bukhara, a fortress with centuries of stories within its walls. 
From royal courts to prison cells, the Ark has seen it all. And from its high vantage point, you can look over the rest of the historic city. Wandering through the Old Town, you will shop in some of the original Silk Road trading domes, where merchants from all over the ancient world would trade and barter their exotic goods. Right next to the domes, you will be right between two of the most beautiful madrasas that give Samarkand a run for its money. Exquisite tiling and exotic colors adorn these giant facades that face each other. It's a wonderful feeling being surrounded by this majestic history that permeates every street. Bukhara is a city that resonates with the spirit of Central Asia. Thank you for joining me on this captivating journey through the top three destinations in Uzbekistan. From Samarkand's grandeur to Hiva's time-frozen charm and Bukhara's historical tapestry. I hope these tips help make your trip along the Silk Road unforgettable. If you did find some value in this video and want to help support my channel, you can become a patron by clicking the link in the description. Your contribution helps me continue to bring you more immersive content, explore new destinations, and share the beauty of the world. I often share exclusive content and additional insight into my travels there, and opens more communication to my travel community. So join my Patreon family and let's make every journey together even more incredible. Thank you for being a part of this adventure, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until our next adventure, happy travels.